Hi everyone. Um, today let's discuss um, different method to do integration by part. I'm sure that we are all familiar with the original formula: integration of u dv equal to u v minus integral of v du. Okay. So I have a different method to do integration by part which give us the same answer like the traditional formula there are strength and weakness to this method let's go to a specific example to see how we can apply the new method to do integration by part try to find the integral of x cube e to the x dx so I learned this method from my calculus teacher and he go with the name for this method called tic-tac-toe so in order to do this method you have to follow a specific set of rules it's very simple and give your answer the answer very quickly so this kind of problem if you want to apply the traditional Integration by part formula, you have to apply it at least three times. Let's see what we can do with our method. So, on the left hand side, you write down derivative, I write d for derivative, and on the right hand side, you write i for integral. Okay, so you're going to choose either term. Mm, inside the integral to do this method and what you want to do with the derivative you have to make sure that once you take derivative that term it has to go to zero so if i do 2e to the x i want to take derivative then no way i'm gonna get zero from it right so i to take derivative for d i'm gonna put x q right here so derivative of x q gonna give me 3x squared Derivative of 3x squared gonna give me 6x and derivative of 6x gonna be 6 derivative of 6 gonna be 0 okay. So remember on the left hand side for derivative and you only take derivative of that term never do anything else only derivative and this method only apply when that derivative term can give you zero at the end which means if it's sine x or cosine x you cannot take derivative for it to go to zero and this method doesn't work in this case okay so on the left hand side remember left only take derivative And on the right hand side, only take integral. Okay, so I will choose x cube for the left hand side, so my exponential of x will be on the right hand side. Okay, try to write them parallel to each other. So integral of e to the x will be e to the x, will be e to the x, will be e to the x, and will be e to the x. So as you see, I can go how many terms I have on the left hand side. I have exactly that amount of term on the right hand side. Let's fix this x6 a little bit. Okay. So now the trick begin. Okay. When you start with x cube, you're gonna go down diagonally one term instead of horizontal. Okay. So x cube will be e to the x. 3x squared will be e to the x. 6x goes e to the x. You may not know what you are doing at this point, but wait. Okay, 6, go to e to the x. Okay, and then tic-tac-toe start with the positive term. Positive, negative, positive, negative, and positive. Let's say, how can we write down the integration pi part? How can we write down the result for this one? So, x cube e to the x, dx, gonna be equal to x cube 
multiplied by e to the x and the sign is positive so positive x cubed e to the x I'm gonna write it as x which means this term multiplied by this term continue the same format but this time we go with the negative right so I'm gonna write down negative first 3 x square e to the x okay let's guess what would be the next term it should be the next one on the left hand side go diagonally with the one on the right hand side which is 6x e to the x okay and then what next as we can see it will be 6 and then e to the x but pay attention right here it should be negative side again right so it should be negative 6 e to the x and then zero now we have nothing to multiply so we are done with integration by part and of course we have to be a constant because we don't have boundary conditions so instead of using the traditional formula we can apply this tic-tac-toe method and do it very quickly and get our answer if you don't trust the result you can try to use integral of uv equal to integral of u dv equal to uv minus v du and test you're gonna have the same answer but it's gonna take you much longer time than this the only weakness of this method is you should have a polynomial term so the answer gonna be um, when you take the derivative it's gonna go to zero but with this method you can do very quickly if you can take the derivative of one term and integral of the other term and one of the derivatives go to zero.